my name is Michelle Glass. This is my ninth and 10th grade earth science class. And we are working on natural resources today and beginning our review for the midterm. And today we will be doing a foldable as well as a graphing interpretation practice so that they can understand the graphs that they need for SOL and testing. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to spend the first couple of minutes looking at the graphing review activity in Google Classroom. So um, it is a graph with several questions on it. If you have difficulty with it, let me know. Amir, can you take off your hood? Michaela, can you take off your hood, please? What did they follow? It says graphing interpretation of fossil fuels. You see it? Okay. You got it, Kiwan. All right. You're okay. I'm on this. It's okay. I'm on my arm. I'm on this. You're beautiful, baby. It's fine. Okay. Let me see. Yes. I need you to work on the graphing interpretation today. Okay. When you've got extra time, you can work on finishing that up. Okay. Yes, just answer the questions. Perfect. Do y'all know what per capita means? What does per capita mean? Does anybody know? Per person. Okay. So they are figuring out what the fossil fuel use is per person. Yes, sir. Where is it? Uh, hit refresh. There it is. Got it? Uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm, what? All right. We're going to work on this for a couple of minutes, and then we're going to move on to the foldable, okay? Consumption, that means use. So does this mean it's going down right here? When, it, when it's going down, see that little dip? So it's kind of steady, it's decreasing a little bit, and then all of a sudden it dips. Does that make sense? So we go follow the blue up, and then all of a sudden it dips, and then increases. Okay. Good job. Think about what we talked about in the video on Friday. Remember, you've got them right there too. Think about it on the picture. Okay, remember from the video, that was the same picture that was in the video? Yeah. And so you gotta think about which ones were fossil fuels and which ones weren't. Remember, fossil fuels came from the bodies of what? Um, I don't know. Dead plants and animals, right? And there were three states. What were the three states that they came in? The states of matter. The solid, solid, liquid, and gas. solid liquid and gas. So that means how many fossil fuels are you looking for? Three. Right. Or your late bus pass. Oh, there she go. For it. Okay. And you need the. Okay, about two more minutes. <laughs> On this, I know you're not going to finish. It's okay. We'll wrap it up at the end. Go up. It'll say that up here per capita, gigajoules per capita per year. Okay? So gigajoule is like meters, liters, grams. It's a unit of measure for energy. 
save your work. You can minimize it. And we're going to work on the foldable for a little bit. And if you get the foldable done, then you can move on and finish this, OK? We'll have time at the end of class, hopefully, so that you can wrap this up. If not, we'll work on it tomorrow morning when I see you, and you can finish it up, OK? All right, so to get our foldable started, what we're going to do is get this piece of paper, please. Okay, so on this paper, you are going to cut around the outside of the circle. So you're going to cut the dark black stuff off. Okay, around the outside of the circle. And then you are going to cut like a wagon wheel towards the middle. You're going to glue the middle. Do not cut the circle in the middle. Okay, because that's where you're going to glue it into your notebook. Go to the next page in your notebook that you have open and you will glue the center down. This is the same diagram that was in the video that we worked on on Friday when we talked about the natural resources. I'm sorry, y'all's class was Thursday. All right, so make sure you cut the, the strips before you glue it down. You're only putting glue on that center circle. I'll come around with the trash can and pick up your stuff in just a few minutes. Remember those questions that we did from the video? If you've got them, you can open your computer to them and they will help you have all the information you need to put into the foldable, okay? Because you are going to put what kind of resource it is. You're going to put some pros and some cons to using that resource. Michaela helped us out a lot um, when we watched that video, because we talked a lot about the different kinds of pros and cons for each resource. Remember, there was some benefits to all of them, even the fossil fuels. And there were some negatives. That's what pros and cons means. Benefits and negatives or consequences. It did today. It got over its glitch, whatever it was. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to write up here what you need to include in your foldable. So you need to write what type of resource it is. You need pros, which are benefits. And you need cons, which are negatives. The type of fossil fuel includes, is it renewable or non-renewable? And what is it? OK? It goes in each flap. So if you need to remember what each symbol is, you've got the video on your computer. So you can pull the video up and see the picture and what each one is. Oh. And you can stop it on that so that you can get them labeled. On the outside, it might help you to write the name of each of the fossil fuels on the out or of each of the fuels on the outside so that you can remember what it is. So can I borrow your notebook for a second? I'm not going to do it for you. OK, when we look at this, see the sun? What kind of energy is the sun? Solar energy. So on this one, 
Is solar renewable or non-renewable? Renewable. renewable. So you're going to, in green, write solar on the sun. Mm. Why are we using green for renewable? What would we use for fossil fuels? Green. Red. Okay. Remember? Because they are what kind of resource? Non Non-renewable. Okay? So write the name of the resource on the outside of the flap in either red or green, depending on whether it is renewable or non-renewable. Then open the flap, and inside you're going to write what type of resource is it? Its pros, which is its benefits, and its cons, which is its negatives. Something that's wrong about using it. In your home, it's a good idea to know about energy and its responsible use, so you can do your part in saving it. Thank you for joining our earth science class. This has been a lesson on natural resources, and have a good day. Hello, warriors.